Good morning. I think this white t-shirt is going to be my new outfit. <laughs> I'm either shirtless, wearing a white tee, or a Hawaiian shirt or hoodie in the winter. But my name is Dave Wright. Welcome back to Dave Wright the Capitalist. I'm going to do another morning hang with you. Uh, today's going to be a little something different. I've been doing a lot of Amazon stuff, which I do do, which I do do <laughs> in the morning a lot. But I am going to do crypto today instead. So I'll do another Amazon video later today where I scan some of the spreadsheets, check out my other videos. I just did, if we head over to, you should head over to my YouTube channel, Dave Wright the Capitalist. I use this tool called Analyzer Tools to go through spreadsheets and find wholesale items that I never have to touch that I can ship into Amazon. Let me adjust my camera here. That I can ship into Amazon. They label them, they ship them, they, cover, they do all the customer care, they do the returns. They have a whole billion dollar, probably trillion dollar company set up in order to, yeah, they're doing a billion a day. So they have a trillion dollar company set up to handle all this for me. Uh, but I've been putting some videos up here. I just did. I have a video here that's uh, how I found $2,000 profit, $2, in profit in 90 minutes using the analyzer tools. I just found $1,000 in profit using analyzer tools. Uh, so, but today I'm not going to do the Amazon like maintenance stuff. I'm going to start doing these hangs because it's easier for me so I can get my work done and film a little content with you. And all of this is to promote my philosophy channel, Dave Wright the Thinker. So please head over to my website, check it out. Uh, you can follow me on BitChute, Rumble, Twitter, or YouTube. Uh, have a lot of fun over there. Talk some philosophy. Lots of videos here. These are all going to be archived. I'm going to start a new show that's also a video and audio cast. But let's get into it. Um, I've been postponing this because I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to uh, show you my crypto portfolio without showing you my crypto portfolio. Because I wanted to keep some things private. But I use ChatGPT a lot to help me look up stuff. And let me just pull this up because I want you to really see the power of the power of uh, DeFi. And let me make sure that my... Okay, so we can still see here. So I'll pull up this. I have my DeFi sheet pulled up on one page and I'm going to pull up some other stuff here. On this main, main page to watch, so if you're interested in, in, in learning about this firsthand, uh, please use this click, uh, this link here for Crypto Lab membership. I am a member of the Underdog Investment Group. Uh, the link's over on my YouTube channel here. There's a free course in there that will get you started to learn the basics the and basic understandings. And then if you join and you use my name in the referral link, David Wright, you might have to reach out to customer service a little bit. Both you and I will both receive a $50 voucher after the first month. We'll be given that in Polygon. Um, well, we'll get into that a little bit because I'm going to do some research on Polygon in front of you today. But you'll be paid that in Polygon or I think maybe BNB or USDT on the Binance Smart Chain. I'm not sure exactly. But check that out. So first things first, I'm going to look at my positions. And I'm going to pull up a couple of positions here. So this is a site called VFAT.io where I have some money invested. I currently have four deposits and they are sitting around $11,000, 11000 almost 12000 This will fluctuate a little bit as you get into uh, cryptocurrency. You'll kind of realize that that's an ongoing feature of crypto market is that it's constantly adjusting to the market, the volatility. What we get used to, and let me go here, what we get used to with fiat currency that's a controlled centralized currency is that these figureheads, this oligarchy of money holders at the top, control the money and they print the money. And you're giving a piece of paper, an IOU, uh, I don't have any cash on me, but you're giving an IOU piece of paper, you know, right here, and it says $1 on it. 
When you wake up tomorrow, it says $1, and the day after that, it says $1, and the day after that, it says $1. But that value is not true because it's getting inflated in the background. As they print more and more of those, and it becomes easier to get, the value of that $1 goes down. So the buying power is typically invisible to you, and we see it in price increase. So people are saying gasoline's going up, food's going up. This is crazy. Why are they charging us so much money for the food? And that is done to make you take the blame from the central controlled banks and put it on to the people trying to sell you products in the market. It's not that they're raising their prices and their products cost more. It's that the buying power of that dollar is less. So if you were buying gasoline for $2 and you were giving them two $1 bills, and then a year later, gasoline per gallon was $4 and you have to give them $4, they didn't raise it by $2. Your dollar bill is worth half as much. So instead of being worth 50 cents, it's worth a quarter now. So as things get easier to make and easier, easier for the for society to make and hand to people the prices should be regulated by competition in between individuals including the currency meaning if there was a currency that was losing value and year after year things you needed more of that currency to buy something it's not that the prices would go up as you need more of that currency because it's worth less to buy something you would say hey i need to find a new company to work with that has a currency that doesn't lose its value. Why is this company $34 trillion in debt and I'm still sticking around with the currency that that company uses, the stock in that company, if you will, the US dollar. Okay. So crypto, as crypto fluctuates up and down, and let me open up coin market cap here. As crypto fluctuates up and down on a daily basis, and you see uh, within the last seven days, um, we got stuff here that's gone. This is a, uh, this coin has gone in the last hour, 2.5%. If we do by market cap, let's just go back here. Bitcoin has fluctuated 2% in the past seven days. So you, if that's rep represented in the price change and how much it's worth compared to the U.S. dollar. Um, so you actually get to see the change of a Bitcoin in real time. So it's not reflected in the individuals. It's reflected in the currency. But without getting too deep into the weeds, this currency is a little bit... Um, what should I say? It's not a true value because it's. we're also looking at this in USD. So we're like, how many, what's a Bitcoin worth? And we're saying right now that a Bitcoin is worth 59,000, whatever, USD. That's how our mind frame is wor works because we're so used to fiat currency. If there was no fiat currency, then we would have to give another value to this Bitcoin. So maybe, uh, so there, there's pairs. So you can do like, uh, Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash, uh, Bitcoin and Algorand get paired in some countries with one another. And then you're spending Algorand as your everyday currency that's cheap and easy to use. And it's paired to Bitcoin, which would be the gold, the digital gold. And so you would be comparing how much is one Bitcoin worth to the Algorand that you're spending if that was the daily spender. Um and then if you didn't like Algorand, you could use Litecoin or you could use another pair. So you're constantly sh moving around. But Bitcoin would kind of be the gold that how the currency used to be behind. But anyways, I'm getting too deep into the weeds right now of how the currencies work. Um, but I have a couple of liquidity pools and oh, my wallet become on, on, the, on the dead seed here. I want to do this off off screen.
Okay, perfect. So I'm reattached. If you can see this particular, these pairs are generating and have earned me. Uh, this first pair here made 141% APR yesterday, or it's roughly making 198. So it's saying I'm making 63 a day, but it's the slow time. It speeds up as it gets busier during the day. Um, so in the last 24 hours, I've actually made $98.9. So about $100 today in interest on this. And these uh, auto harvest that for me and send it into a wallet. So if I go over here into my, my MetaMask wallet that's attached to this, and let me refresh this so we can get some prices here. I got paid out. Come on, MetaMask, show me the show me the USD. All right, so I got paid out overnight fifty four Brett coin, which is worth four dollars and forty two cents. I got paid out one hundred and thirty four Aerodrome tokens, which let me move my big head here into the middle. Aerodrome tokens worth eighty two ten. Uh, nine dollars and twenty seven cents in USDC wrapped ETH. I don't know why the price is not coming up, but wrapped ETH twenty dollars and two cents. So that was all paid out to me overnight in fees. Now I can either pull these fees out right now. I could convert them. I could go back here. I could take this thirty dollars that hasn't been collected yet and put it back into the position to start compounding the interest. I could pull all this stuff right now instantly. I could take all this money back instantly. I am in total control of my decentralized currency. But what I do is, let me move this someplace where it's not in the way. What I do is I have a spreadsheet here, and it's got all my positions on it. So first I would look at this and I would put my new deposit amount for today, what it's up to. As Ethereum goes up, this price goes up. And if it goes down, it goes down. But I'm getting fees based on the same amount of tokens. They're just the values less. And then I earn, I earn those tokens and I can either put them, like I said, back or transfer them out in ETH or USDC or whatever I want. So I go through and I get the idea of that interest for the day so I can look at what I'm making. Then I have a bigger portfolio where I pull some of that stuff out into an ears coin uh, market cap. I have a watch list and I'm pulling some of those tokens out and putting them into uh, a bull run pair. So as I look at these are all the pairs that I've just been watching recently. And um, if I go and I look at seven days, I can see that Dimitri is up. And if I look into my portfolio, which is off screen here, I'm currently up, uh, where's Dimitri? 74% on Dimitri. And then if I go to Polygon, Polygon, I am about break even on Polygon. Um, no, I'm down 14% on Polygon. So I'm about down what the market is saying I'm down. Oh, this is down 20%. I'm down. I've been dollar cost averaging. I'm down 14%. So if I wanted to rebalance some of these coins that I'm working with and distribute profit, I would take and sell some of my Dimitri. And then I would put that into Polygon at this discount. It's 20% discount over the past week. I made 8% here. I could take a percentage or all of this and then move it over to over to this polygon at a discounted rate. Now, what I'm going to do, I also want to pull up and just take a look at what happened. So you can look at what we were talking about, the day-to-day the -day of a currency. So we're going to go over to trade view. And we're going to look at all the markets. And we're going to do Polygon. And let's look at it at, uh, let's do it on Coinbase in USDT. 
And it looks like I already messed around with this earlier. So let me take that out of here. All right. So this is the current path of what's going on with Polygon. So here it was way down on August 4th. It took a huge, huge drop on August 5th, actually, Monday the 5th. It's rallied since, and then it went pretty high again on the 25th, and now it's down again to 41 in just a couple of days. So there's a lot of movement here. What I would do is I would look at probably one year, and I would go back and kind of look at this graph and say, okay, here's a bottom here. Here's one bottom. Let's go to year to date. So let's go. That's today. And here's some movement here. So this looks like the bottom bottom for, for the year. I'm going to take a horizontal line. And I'm going to put it right here. This is going to extend through everything. Just showing you a little bit of technical analysis when I look at Polly. And if I go here... Currently, it's under the year time low. So it's the lowest it's been all year. And I want to see why. And so when I look at this, it took a dip here and it took a big dip here in the fifth. So let's go over to chat GPT and let's say what happened to um, Polygon Maddox on 08 slash 05 slash 2024. And it's going to come up with some data. So now it's searching the internet for us and it's going to come back and hopefully give us some information. So on August 5th, Polymatic token hit a yearly low. The drop was particularly part of a broader downturn in the market. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't really give me anything. Are there any major changes coming up? They have any significant changes been announced around that time. Okay, so here we go. On August 5th, significant changes were announced regarding Polygon token, Maddox. Polygon is transitioning from its Maddox token to a new token called Poly, which is transitioned as part of a broader Polygon point to upgrade. Okay, so they're doing an upgrade and they're switching the Poly token, the, the Maddox token to PLL tokens. And that's going to happen on September 4th. All right, so when... A project is wor working. There's a couple of ways. You can have a decentralized product. And if pe there's a change and one person likes the change, the community can vote on it. And if they don't get enough votes or the, the, the development team doesn't get enough votes, um, then they, they can't make an upgrade to like a 2.0. They'll do a fork. And basically, they'll have two competing currencies. The old one will still run, Polly, and the new one, uh, Maddox would still run, and the new Polly would go. So I want to see now... Is this a fork? Meaning two arguing teams have decided to go in opposite directions with the project. One's going to continue on the path and the other's going to change it. Or if there's a consensus and they're going in one direction and then just an upgrade. So no, this is not a fork. The transition is just a key point upgrade. Okay, so September 4th is going to be a major date then. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm logged into this. And if I can, I don't know if it'll let me go out that far. Yeah, it does. So here's September. So September 4th, and here's the August 5th. So you can start making some notes here. So this was the poll announcement and this was will be 
bold launch. So now when I pull this up in trade view, because I'm signed in, it's going to show me two major dates that are going on and we can kind of keep an eye on it. This was the all time low for Polly, but now Polly's, I mean, it just hit a new bottom here. Uh, so it's definitely under. And if I had charted this in the past, I would have been quite a bit off. I would have been 15, 16% off. But that makes a lot of sense. It's down about 19%, which is huge compared to other things. There's a meme coin called Brett that's down 12. Um, so if we put this as the new low here, and we get rid of this, and I mean, we could, we could go this far, but that's kind of on heard of because that's a major event we could put it right in here let's say so this might dip down to here it's a little bit high it's still falling this might be the new bottom then we move up here is like this kind of looks like like resistance but what else do we have back here it kind of had resistance there before so if we go back to that other spot where i tried to map the bottom and I do a horizontal line. Let's say it's not really there. It's kind of in between those two major ones there. I'll make this as green. And this is just very, there's, there's so much more you can do with technical analysis. I'm just trying to get an idea. Okay, so those back there kind of do, does hit this same re resistance mark. So you can kind of see how we checked it back there and it lined up here. So now you have these two points here you have the current like low do you really think Polly's going to get lower than that and i mean we could even ask does the um what uh do you think this change will drop the price or increase the demand and this is sometimes going to spit out gobbledygook, but it might spit out articles and stuff. Short-term volatility because of speculation, more confusing. Yeah, I didn't hear about this either. So people might have been confused and thought it was a fork and pulled all their money out and wanted to re-enter at a letter date or they knew that it was going to go down. So... Anyways, if you go back here now and we take another line and we do a ray of where it's at. All right, so this is where we're currently at. This is where the bottom looks like, and this looks like a pretty decent top where we're getting a resistance to break through. Now you take some of these price ranges and you say it's got about five percent to fall and then you put another one here and it's got about a 34 percent increase so if i was going to enter a position on poly it kind of feels like a pretty safe time to get in my risk to reward there's always a risk. Um, this could go straight down to zero. But Polygon's making some progress. It's a pretty well-known um, coin. So I hi highly doubt that would, would happen. But this just shows you this is not a bad entry point. You got a, about a 4% loss margin right here and about a 34%. So for me, I feel pretty comfortable putting some money into Polygon taking it out of that Dimitri position and switching it over. So now I got my money reworking for me and I'm getting a better entry point into Polygon. Um, yes, I'm going to leave that site. So that's just one way that I use that. Now, I was also looking at a position here. 
And let me pull this up. I was in a position for OVN. And it's a this is a payer that was paying a yield. So let me just pull it up on. I was in on beefy, but we can pull it up on on here. You're looking at OVN paired with USD plus on the aerodrome network right here. And it's got quite a bit of uh, liquidity locked. Pull this up. It's currently paying 543 APY, 186 APR. So roughly the same as what I'm getting from my other four deposits. So, um, so I've been looking at this pair. And the reason I pulled out is because it hit like its peak of up. And I thought that I can make more money putting it into the, to the ETH. So I pulled up this pair and I want to do the same here. So I had originally been, my entry point was way up here at like 49. Now it's fallen to about 43. And the bottom was, is about currently about 15 down, 15% 15 down in 22. So it's about a mid range. I got out right about here. So it's lost value, and then it just took another spike this morning where quite a bit of volume was out. But if you look down here, quite a bit of volume is coming in in small portions. Somebody did three minutes ago, put 68 in. This shows you all the volatility. What was that big spike of pullout? Because these are all positives. 2,300. Look at all this money flowing in. It's all money flowing in to OVN right now. So people love this pair. It's been going up. Okay, so here's those two pulls. That was almost. So this was a sold and then a removed uh, from that chain. So that caused some price fluctuation, I suppose. But. This is not a terrible entry point. It's about 50-50. So if you were to get into a pair, which is different here, you're basically collecting fees at 186% APR. And the difference between APY and APR is the APY is you just hold it and collected all the money over the year. And an APR is like a daily compounding, uh, a compounding effect, I believe. Um, let's see if we can get a better definition for you. Uh, APY versus APR. So you got the APY is the annual percentage yield. Yes. And the annual percent rate. Okay. So the rate is determined, I believe by the compounding. Yeah, so the APR definitely APR represents the annual rate charge from borrowing earned through the investment. Number two, no compounding. Unlike APR, APR does not include the. Oh, okay. So the APY is the compounding effect, and the APR is just if you were to pull all that money out on a on a daily on a daily basis. So you're making two decisions because you have the decision of pulling out so i had it had it backwards um but anyways this shows you where you get in i want to probably get back in i like to get it in around 40 i don't think it's going to fall that far i think it might fall back down to 42 but i like to get it get back in around 40 but this is just a pair that i've been watching um for a, for a couple of days so if this looks interesting to you, like I said, I'm collecting, um, I'm collecting passive income. I earned ninety nine forty four over last night, and right now, as people are starting to wake up and these and these things are starting to get some action in them, the interest rates have gone up, the APRs have gone up since we've been talking, and now I'm up to eighty seven dollars in daily rewards, which. Just give you an idea of how quickly this goes. So this is daily rewards. That's 366 an hour, 24 hours a day, 365. That's $87 a day. 
That's $615 a week, $26.72 a month, and yearly $32.073. So at at $272.52 APR, let's go and ask. I have $11,000. It's closer to twelve. Let's say $11,000. I have... Eleven thousand dollars, making what do we say? Two seventy two. Two seventy two APR percentage. If I compounded, all the interest. How long would it take? To double my eleven thousand. Cause this is gonna show you the power of of compound interest here. If you compound all the interest it takes approximately fifty three years, no ain't wrong. This is why Okay, so I make $80 a day. I'm adding that back in to earn interest. Can you redo the math? Now it's analyzing. Let's go. If you make $80 a day in a reinvesting the amount to earn the amount, it would take approximately 0.15 years or about 1.8 months to double that. So... 1.8 months is how many days? So it's going to say 1.8 months is about 55 days. So close to two months probably as it fluctuates. So imagine doubling your portfolio every two months. Pretty impressive. Um, so... I'm going to end it here, but if you're interested, head over to Crypto Labs, this website here, and check out this video that Lucas created. You can log in for free. You can get 20% off your first month if you want to use this underdog coupon or whatever. Once you go in, tell them, once you've gone in, done the free course stuff, if you sign up and you look through all this material, please tell them that David Wright referred you and then we'll go back and forth with the you go back and forth and then after your first month you're going to receive a $50 voucher in crypto so your first month will pretty much pay for itself um but there's plenty of money to be made even if you had a couple hundred bucks you'll be you'll be working through the program step by step they do an amazing job of breaking it down for you uh, so that you learn how to make, you need to learn the basics, then you make $1 a day, then $3 a day, then $5 a day, then 10 then 25 But really what happens if you're paying attention, you're already way ahead. I went from not being able to figure out a dollar or $3 a day to making $100 a day in just a couple of months. And they really break it down for you in these little two to five minute videos that you go, you t you read a little bit, you watch the video. So if you like to read, you can read it. If you like to watch, you can watch and listen. And then you fi finish these segments and then you take a little quiz to make sure you understand it. And then it opens up the next one and you can't open up the next one until you've gone through the beginning parts of the other one. So they do a really good job. But if you like this morning style video here, please comment below. Uh, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Please head over to my philosophy channel. I want to build that. That's going to be a podcast coming up where we just talk like 
it's not political, but it's going to talk about the climate and how you can protect yourself mentally, emotionally, and financially uh, in a world. And it's going to give you some key principles so that you can you can take these key, key principles and use them in all aspects of your life um, to, better, to better make and determine choices. So uh, it's really helped me out a lot, philosophy, and I wanted to share it. Uh, with other people so that all being said i hope everybody's having a great morning and please let me know if you want to do some more of these morning hangs i have some amazon stuff here i'll probably do i'm going to do breakfast it's about 9 a.m for me on 8 30 2024 i'm going to do breakfast hit the gym and then come back and probably film an amazon video for you guys so stay tuned for that okay thank you so much take care